first thing I want to do is import. I'm just going to move this one over, and we're going to import uh, a little audio sample of a, uh, of a recording. So I'm going to go under Media to the Media Bay. So what we're going to do is uh, drag that into our session, or I can also just double click on it and copy to working file directory. I hit OK. Um, I should be able to close it. And there it is. So I'm going to drag this over, and we're going to put it on this right there at measure 1. I'm going to use a key command called P, the letter P. What that is is when you select any region, MIDI or audio, uh, you hit P, and it makes the locators wrap around it. So it's a much faster way. You saw me struggling grabbing things and moving them around. This is a much better way of manipulating your, your region. Now this is recorded at 140, which is what our tempo is. Let me just go back to the beginning. Now, what I also want to do is set up a couple of delay tracks or effects buses, uh, as I like to call them. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can right click and create an effects track. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go into the um, VST connections. And here you'll see our inputs, our outputs, and there's group effects. So I can add an effect by coming in here and saying I want to add a stereo delay, add track, and there it is. And let's say I want to add a reverb. So I'm going to go down under reverb and add a Roomworks. And what I'm going to do is use this. I'm going to use this track. I'm going to send it a little bit to that delay. So there's a couple ways that we can gain access to it. One of my favorite things to do is to click on the letter E, which brings up this large uh, audio channel settings edit window. So in here, we have inserts on the left, and on the right-hand side, sends. You have this nice, great, big equalizer. So I'm going to roll off on the low frequencies by using a high-pass filter. Think about a high-pass. High pass lets high frequencies pass through. So I'm going to go to high pass 2 and uh, adjust the Q. Well, I'll give a, a deeper explanation in just a little bit. But I'm setting this up because I like to have a little bit of delay because that adds a little bit of flavor. You need to turn it on, and then you need to turn it up. So when I hit play... <laughs>